Well, we are just a couple weeks away all of a sudden from the 2024 deer season beginning. And I uh, figured today I was gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the gear that I'd be rocking this year. Uh, for one, my bow and the setup that I've got going. And I've also got the bag that I'm gonna be using. It really isn't that like set up yet. It doesn't have all my gear, but uh, I can show you the bag and show you the bow that I'm gonna be running this year, my arrows, my broadheads. And uh, yeah, just figured uh, before the season started and before we were out there uh, slinging arrows, I'd go ahead and show you guys uh, what we're gonna be working with. So first things first, we've got the bag that I'm gonna be running this year. Uh, it's just a little redhead backpack. There's nothing too special about it, but it holds the things that I need, I guess. And uh, it's pretty lightweight and it's just a good bag to carry into the woods. I don't do a lot of bow hunting. I mostly hunt from ground blinds. So really good uh, bag to just kind of pack into the woods and throw in the blind, keep all my stuff in there, keep my release and everything like that. Keep my snacks in there in the morning. So yeah, that's the bag that we're gonna be running this year. I've also got some of this uh, supercharged scent killer in here. Not really sure how good this stuff is or if it really works, but uh, they got me with the commercials, so I use it now. I've also got the headlamp that I'm gonna be running this year. Uh, it's a browning headlamp. It's actually for frog gigging. I got it for frog gigging, but I don't know. It's a pretty good headlamp. It's bright. It's got a, a green light too, so it's pretty cool, and uh, we'll be using that this year. Hopefully when we uh, shoot a big buck and have to track it at night, or hopefully we don't have to track it, but uh, worst case scenario when we do, that's the headlamp we'll be using. So like I said, the bag right now really doesn't have that much in it. It's not finished at all, but uh, just there's a couple things in there I figured I'd show you. Now on to the main event, I guess you could call it. The bow that I'm gonna be rocking this year. First things first, I've got it in this Plano case. The case really doesn't matter. I won't be taking that in the woods or anything, obviously. It's just what I'm using to transport it from place to place, but uh, what matters is what's inside. You know, we're a month away from deer season and it's like 90 degrees out here. That's not a good sign. It sucks out here. It is hot. It's muggy. It's not great deer weather. Moving on, the arrows that I will be using this year are the Maximo Reds. I've got them in a 350 spine. I was told uh, at the pro shop this was a pretty good arrow. The guy at the pro shop uses them. And this is my first year bow hunting, so kind of learning on the fly. Needed some help with an arrow purchase, and he said these are the uh, the ones to go with for a moderately priced setup. Hopefully they uh, work pretty good this year. I needed a 350 spine because I shoot a little heavy on the draw weight. I shoot a 70 pound draw weight, well 68. The bow max is at like 68.5, so that's what we put it at. And uh, I'm rocking 125 grain field points. Obviously the hunting arrow, which I'll show you right now, has broad heads, not field points. Can't hunt with a field point. But uh, the broadhead that I'm using this year is the 125 grain slick tricks. You have to put these together, which it's no big deal. They're pretty easy to put together. They take like two or three minutes. You snap them together and obviously then you're ready to go out there and sling an arrow. But they were, they were pretty easy. That's, that's a, good thing for a good thing for a beginner bow hunter. Good thing for consumers when something's not that difficult to put together. Hopefully it's a good broadhead. This is the one that I've been uh, testing on the target with. So obviously I won't be taking this one out to hunt with unless I sharpen it. I've got some extra arrows inside that I've actually got ready for hunting that also have Luminox on them. These ones just have the basic knock on them. Uh, I guess I should show you the target I'm using too. The target I've been practicing with, it's this uh, blackout six-sided block target. Had to get me a broadhead target because uh, I was tearing up the other ones with broad heads, but great target, recommend it. Got you guys back up there on the stand there. The bow that we are going to be using this year is the Bear Legit. I've been using this bow now for nine or 10 months practicing with it. There's a lot of glare, I'm sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I really like it. It's a pretty good bow. I got it in the ready to hunt platform, but I've changed a couple things on it. I'll show you guys what I changed, but it's a pretty good bow. So the first thing that I actually changed, and you guys seen this in a video if you watch the uh, channel consistently, is I got a different sight. I had a CBE sight that uh, had the floating pin, but I had to get rid of that sight. Not because it was a bad sight, well, maybe it was. The uh, pin, my middle pin, uh, was totally stripped out of the box, and I couldn't move it because it was stripped. I didn't strip it, it came like that, which uh, 
little annoying. So I had to end up putting this sight back on, which it's just a Trophy Ridge four pin sight, but I got it dialed in. It's working just fine. So not really too upset about it. It'll be whatever it is. I mean, it's still gonna work just fine. The only problem I have with this sight is once again, this pin right here or this screw, not this pin, but this screw moves it up and down. I've never touched that uh, screw once in my life. It is also stripped. So I don't know if it's something with bow sights and bow stuff, but for some reason, all the screws and pins come out of the uh, package stripped. That's super annoying. A another new adjustment that I made to this bow is the drop away sight. It's a trophy taker throw down drop away sight and uh, not had any problems with it. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. There was a whisker biscuit on it and I just wasn't really a fan. One, it was super worn from how much I've shot, but also I've noticed uh, it just kind of slows your arrow down a little bit. I did some research and uh, it slows your arrow down even if it's just a couple feet per second. Might as well give ourselves the best chance possible. So got the, uh, got the drop away all installed there and it's worked just fine. The only other things really to uh, talk about, I've got this blackout release, a really cheap release, the first one that I picked up when I got the bow. Haven't had any problems with it, and if it's not broke, not going to try to fix it. I've also got this range finder right here. Don't really know where I got it at. I got it as a Christmas, well, I know where I got it. I got it as a Christmas present, but I don't know uh, where it came from. But uh, it ranges, so I, I guess it's going to be good. Really don't need it to range out to much more than 25, 30 yards because, I mean, that's as far really as the deer are going to be this year in the spot that I'm hunting, but uh, still definitely a good thing to have. It's kind of dark. We're right under a tree, but uh, I figure while we're here, I might as well show you guys me uh, throwing a couple arrows at the target. So we're out here at 15. Let's throw a little group. Pretty good shot there. See what we did. Well, on the third shot, I pulled a little, but the other two are pretty perfect, so not gonna worry about that too much, and uh, it's a pretty good group. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I literally can't wait at this point for deer season to start. I've been uh, waiting for it to start ever since the end of last deer season, and here we are, less than a month away, and uh, got a pretty dialed in setup, so pretty excited. Can't wait to throw one of these slick tricks at hopefully a pretty big buck. I got a couple decent bucks coming through, but nothing really that special. My big, big um, target buck that I had coming through, he's kind of disappeared. So it's kind of expected when you have a buck that early in the season coming through that he might not stick around all the way through the season, but you never know. He could uh, make his way back through there. And if so, we're going to be ready. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you want to catch more videos just like this one, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Hunting content will uh, be coming up here at the end of September, November, December, October. I missed October. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.